Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHDS-402A HDMI switch matrix. This product is designed to make it very simple for you to select between up to four HDMI inputs and send that audio and video stream to one of two outputs. You can send the same stream to both outputs or have different streams sent to either output independently. The product supports a full ultra high definition 4K resolution. It has audio extraction capabilities, which allows you to separate the audio of the stream you've selected and send that to a home audio component for that full theater experience. Also included is a remote control to make the selection even easier. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included with the kit. Then I'll take a closer look at all the components and point out the buttons, connectors, and indicators and explain what they do. I'll give you a list of the audio and video standards the product can support. And then finally, I'll come back here and actually install the product and show you how to connect it up once you get it home. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the unit itself. We include a power supply. This end plugs into the wall. This end plugs into the back of the unit, and that's all the power you'll need. As I mentioned, we'll include a remote control. There's a bracket kit assembly included as well. If you want to mount this on a wall, there's holes underneath where you can mount those brackets and actually attach it to a wall. And finally, included is a full instruction manual that explains all the audio and video standards the product can support. There are diagrams for helping you with connections with your own equipment at home. And there's a section in there that answers a lot of the questions you may have about the unit. Now, if you stay tuned, I'll take a much closer look at the product and explain how it works. Now we'll take a little closer look at the O-Ray UHDS-402A HDMI switch matrix. This product provides everything you'll need to get started quickly, including the four input, two output switch matrix, power supply, remote control, a set of brackets to mount the unit to a wall, including the screws you'll need to attach the brackets to the product, and a full instruction manual. Now let's explore the matrix. The unit's produced in a full metal enclosure to help reduce outside interference from degrading the signals being passed through the unit. It also makes it very durable. On either side are ventilation holes to keep the electronics inside at a comfortable temperature, as well as holes for the mounting brackets where you can attach it to the wall. On the front of the unit, you'll find a power indicator. Once the power supply is plugged in, it's gone through power on self-test, that'll light up. There's an infrared port here. That's the receiver port for the remote control. Across the front, you have two output indicators. This button will step through the various inputs for output A. This does the same for output B. You have a selection for audio because it extracts audio, so you can choose to extract audio from the A channel or the B channel. There's also a scaling button here, so if you're using a monitor that can't support 4K, you can tap that button, it'll downscale it to 1080p. And then finally, there's an ARC function that can be turned on and off with that button. On the back of the unit, you have a power supply connection. This plugs into the wall, the barrel connection plugs into here. You can finger tight the collar and make sure that that stays in. There's a service port that isn't used in normal operation, but if microcode needs to be pushed to this later to update the firmware, you'll connect that to your computer and that connection will allow you to push the firmware to the product. There's an EDID switch here in case you need to make adjustments to get the best possible video picture, and you can choose between standard, copy, and auto. This is your audio output for left and right analog. There's also an optical audio output here. These two HDMI ports are your output ports for your selection, so that's output B and output A. And these four HDMI ports are your input selection. So you'll connect up four different HDMI input sources here, and then you'll make the selections individually for both of the outputs from these input sources. And that's pretty much all you need to know to get it working with your own gear at home. The O-Ray UHDS-402A HDMI switch matrix supports a wide range of media sources, including game consoles, DVD players, cable boxes, streaming devices like Roku, and home surveillance systems. The product supports all modern video resolutions up to a full ultra-high definition 4K or 2K at 60 Hz. It features an EDID bypass switch and can accommodate 3D media. It's HDCP 2.2 compliant, and its audio support includes PCM, Dolby True HD, DTS HD Master Audio up to 7.1 channels, and also provides digital and analog audio outputs. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make between the UHDS 402A HDMI switch matrix and your own equipment at home. For this demonstration, I've set up two monitors. 
I have the power supply that came with the product plugged in. Over here I have an amplified speaker, and I'll use that to show you how the audio extraction capabilities of the product works. And then finally, I have four separate HDMI media inputs ready to go. A PC, a laptop, a game console, and a media player. Now first I'll apply power to the unit, then I'll connect up the monitors. I'll finally add all four media inputs and show you just how easy it is to step through those different media inputs and send a different one to each of the monitors. So let's connect up the power first. Standard barrel connection, plugs right into the back of the unit. Now I'll connect up the two monitors. I've got an HDMI cable to both of those, and they connect to output A and output B. And then finally, I'll connect up the media sources. All those connections are on the back and they're all HDMI. I'll connect up input number one, input number two, input number three, and finally input number four. Now what's happening is the unit's going through a power on self-test right now to verify all the electronics are working properly, and then it'll check the input resolution of all your media sources against the resolution the monitors can display, and it'll make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture upstream. So right now I've got all the inputs set up for input number one, so both of the monitors are seeing the media player which is streaming this video. Let me switch that first input, and that one here will switch to the next input number two. Takes a second because again, it's checking the resolution of that product. Okay, now it's come up on computer. Let's go to input number three. And you can use a remote to do this as well if you're across the room from the switch. Input three, number three should come up in a second. That's the laptop. And then here's input number four. And that'll come up in a second. Okay, now I'll go back to input number one and it should be the same as the top monitor. Good to go. Now I'll switch the other one. And that should switch to number two. And there you go. So what I'll do now is actually connect up the speaker because this unit has got audio track in the background that's playing. You can't hear it obviously because the monitor doesn't have a speaker in it, but if I connect this to the audio output analog, and then I can select which input I want to hear from the audio. So that's the switch here to switch between them. And I've now switched it over to that second input. And there's the audio in the background. So the unit not only gives you the ability, let me switch that back over. It not only gives you the ability to switch between those four different inputs and send that media to two different monitors, but it also allows you to extract the audio of that selection and send it to a home system for that full theater experience. And that's pretty much all you need to know. It's very easy to hook up. We hope you found this overview of the UHDS 402A HDMI switch matrix helpful. This four input, two output switch makes it very simple for you to select from up to four HDMI media sources and send the audio and video from that selection to two separate monitors independently. The product also provides for audio extraction capabilities and can separate the audio stream from the video stream and direct that through an analog or digital output to your home media system to enjoy that full theater experience. All of us here at O'Ray appreciate your support of our entire product line and until next time, thanks for watching.